Hey everybody, I just wanted to make a couple of announcements about what's going on uh, in the life of our church and Hope City Ministries over the next couple of weeks. Um, we are trying to navigate the waters with everything that's happening with the coronavirus. I don't think any of us have a ton of great answers, um, so we just have to kind of make best decisions with the information that we do have. And um, today I'm just kind of enjoying this beautiful sunny day um i thought man i need to get out for a few minutes and just enjoy the air and get some fresh air in my lungs uh, one of the things that i know is very unhealthy is sitting on your couch and watching the news 24 hours a day oh my goodness that's enough to make you go into a panic um, so i encourage you guard your mental health as you're going through this time um, still talk to people on the phone engage with people beyond social media beyond technology beyond uh, just kind of isolation you need to be checking on people you need to be getting um, information to people about how you're doing and gathering information from people about how they're doing um, if you have a neighbor that is elderly or in that kind of at-risk area um, reach out to them knock on their door keep your distance but knock on their door find out if they're okay find out if they need anything can you help them in any way um, as far as what we're doing for the church over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be just canceling everything that we do kind of as gatherings. So we won't be doing a prayer tonight. So no encounter tonight um, through April 1st. Um, there won't be any Feeding Baltimore. We won't be having church uh, Sunday. Uh, my plan is to do a kind of devotional live stream and hope to engage with you. Hope you guys will join me on Sunday morning at 1030 for our normal service time. But we'll just kind of gather together for a time of devotion and a time of prayer. And uh, hopefully can interact a little bit as you send some questions and things on, uh, on Facebook. But we'll go live with that on Sunday morning. Um, outside of that, we're just encourage you check on people in the church check on people you know make sure that everyone is doing okay and uh and let's ride this thing out together i'll be posting some more things uh, i'm i'm kind of reluctant to post a lot and the reason is is because it seems like everybody is posting videos constantly about coronavirus but i think the reality is is that most of us kind of want to know what's going on so i want you to be able to hear from me especially those people that are in my congregation i want you to be able to hear from me know what's going on also if you would please continue to give one of the things that i've noticed as kind of fear uh, hits is that we kind of panic and we don't think about giving and supporting the work of the ministry. I know that there are some churches that I've heard from that have stopped supporting missionaries and I'm thinking, oh gosh, guys, that's the wrong move. Now is not the time to pull back from faith. Now is the time to lean into faith. So I would encourage you continue to give we, uh, you can give online at highlandcommunity.church. There's a link there that says give. But I just encourage you to stay faithful, stay committed, trust God. We're going to weather this storm, but um, it's going to take all of us kind of doing it together. So um, I, I'm grateful for each one of you. I've been praying for you every day and will continue to do so. So just uh, stay safe and let's keep focused on the fact that God is still on the move, even though coronavirus seems to be capturing the news right now. Love you guys. We'll talk to you soon.